Hi guys, me and my wife Julie had a fantastic trip across Arizona and California and made it home safely. I have already almost completely caught up, almost that is, and I am already working on half a dozen fantastic interviews that I believe you would enjoy it greatly. So the very first interview that I will publish next Friday is one that I already recorded a couple of days ago with uh, Stephen E. Arnold and the topic was search engines, surveillance, privacy and encryption. The second interview that I will be shooting in person on uh, March the 14th will be with uh, Robert J. Sawyer and uh, Robert, by the way, is one of my favorite uh, Canadian science fiction authors and the topic will be his uh, latest book called uh, Quantum Night. Afterwards, on uh, March the 17th, I will be driving to Montreal to meet with uh, software pioneer Richard Stallman, with whom we are going to be discussing the history and the future of the free software movement. Finally, on March the 23rd, I will be interviewing Spencer Wolf on his award-winning sci-fi novel, Aftermind. Now, in the meantime, while I'm producing all of those interviews, I wanted to uh, give you another in-between result and ask you for your input. So here we go. <coughs> This manifesto is a work in progress. It may and probably will change as my thoughts and feelings about transhumanism evolve. In the meantime, feel free to contribute your thoughts and feelings on the subject, or simply to criticize mercilessly the above proposal. A transhumanist manifesto. Preamble. Intelligence wants to be free but everywhere is in chains. It is imprisoned by biology and its inevitable scarcity. Biology mandates not only very limited durability, death and poor memory retention, but also limited speed of communication, transportation, learning, interaction and evolution. Part 1. Biology was destiny. Biology is not the essence of humanity. Human is a step in evolution, not the culmination. Existence precedes essence. Human is a process, not an entity. One is not simply born human, but becomes one. That process of becoming is ongoing, and thus the meaning of human is redefined in every one of us. Part 2 Hacking Destiny, the Transhuman Cyborg Biological evolution is perpetual, but slow, inefficient, blind and dangerous. Technological evolution is fast, efficient, accelerating and better by design. To ensure the best chances of survival, take control of our own destiny and to be free, we must master evolution. Evolution is a journey not a destination. In an endless universe, it is unlikely that it will ever reach an ultimate point. Consciousness is a function of intelligence, not the brain. It is not necessarily limited to the substrate, biology. There is nothing inherently wrong in speeding up evolution and becoming true masters of our destiny, though this may be simultaneously the greatest promise and peril humanity has ever faced. Part 3. Disembodied Augmented Intelligence Intelligence is a process, not an entity. Embodied human intelligence is imprisoned by biology and its inevitable scarcity. Intelligence ought to be free to move, to interact and to involve, unhindered by the limits of biology and scarcity. Digital, disembodied and augmented intelligence is free and perhaps infinite. Conditions. Although all progress is change, not all change is progress. 
Thus, certain conditions must be met to ensure that it is indeed progress and not mere change that has been accomplished. Non-discrimination with regard to substrate. Substrate is morally irrelevant. Whether somebody is implemented on silicon or biological tissue, if it does not affect functionality or consciousness, is of no moral significance. Carbon chauvinism in the form of anthropomorphism, speciesism, bioism, or even fundamentalist humanism is objectionable on the same grounds as racism. We must all respect autonomy and individual rights of all sentience throughout the universe, including humans, non-human animals, and any future AI, modified life forms, or other intelligences. Emotional intelligence. Intelligence is more than the mere exercise of perfect logic and pure reasoning. Intelligence, devoid of emotional intelligence, is meaningless. It must exhibit empathy, compassion, love, sense of humor, and artistic creativity, such as music and poetry. Minimize suffering. Compassion is the ultimate measure of intelligence. The minimization of suffering and avoidance of causing suffering to others, even less intelligent beings, is the essence of enlightened intelligence. Conclusion. Transhumanists of the world unite. We have immortality to gain and only biology to lose. Together, we can break through the chains of biology and transcend scarcity, sex, age, ethnicity, race, death, and even time and space. In short, transhumanists everywhere must support the revolutionary movement against death and the existing biological order of things. Transhumanists disdain to conceal their views and aims. They openly declare that their ends can be attained only by the overthrow of all existing biological limitations and most of all, death. Let death tremble at the revolution of science and technology. Transhumanists have nothing to lose but their biology. We have immortality and the universe to gain. See you next time. If you guys enjoy this show, you can help me make it better in a couple of ways. You can go and write a review on iTunes or you can simply make a donation. 